everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today I have this week's D&D for Dummies, this time focusing on the Duogar species, I'm not sure I've pronounced that name, hopefully I've got it right. Anyway, much like other dwarves, these guys have a lifespan of typically 350 years, so they can live for quite a long time. So, let's get on to the usual stuff. Ability score increase. When, in when determining your character's ability scores, Increase one score by two, and you can increase a different score by one, or three different scores by one, and of course you can't raise any of them above 20, as we all know. Now, creature type. You're a humanoid, but you're also considered a dwarf for any prerequisite or effect that requires you to be a dwarf, which is pretty cool. Size, you are a medium-sized creature. Next, your walking speed is 30 feet, as I'm sure we all could guess. Next, you have dark vision. Once again, I've covered that many times. We'll leave the D&D wiki dot link in the description for this species for you to go and check that out. Next we have Duogar Magic. Starting at 3rd level you can cast the Enlarge slash Reduce spell with this trait without requiring a, a material component. Starting at 5th level you can also cast the Invisibility spell with it, also without requiring a material component. Once you cast either of these spells with this trait, you can't cast that spell, you can't cast that spell again with that ability until you finish a long rest. You can also cast these spells using spell slots you have the appropriate level. Intelligence, Wisdom or Charisma is your spell casting ability for these spells when you cast them with a straight and you can choose which when you select this race. Now, moving on, we have Dwarven Resilience. You have advantage on saving throws to make you... Um, you, you have a advantage on saving throws you make to avoid or end the poisoned condition on yourself. You also have resistance to poison damage, so that's pretty cool. Next you have Psionic Fortitude. You have advantage on saving throws you make to avoid or end the charms, charmed or stunned condition on yourself. And lastly, languages. Your character can speak, read and write in common. And one other language that you and your DM agree is appropriate for the character. And as always, the player's handbook offers a list of languages that you can select from and your DM is free to alter those at any point. But that is going to do it for this video on the Duogar species. Please let me know how to pronounce that, by the way, because I'm really curious. So, please, give the vid a like, subscribe to my Nand Rock Sounds channel, so the link is down in the description, my button is down there, please click those and then the bell icons to get both sets of our notifications, comments as well, because why not? And let me know what you guys think of this species, and if you've already played as one, how was it, or if I haven't, let me know if I've convinced you to do so. Once you've done that too, please follow me on my social medias. They'll be down in the link tree in the description below. That is going to be Roxanne's website, of course. And lastly, please do share this video with all your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye!